In 78, 79, I think we all fell in love with Kate Bush. I mean, we loved the, the voice, the originality, and uh, the uniqueness of her talent, which was really unheard of at the time. My collaboration with her, uh, which spanned from 1982 to 93, was certainly one of the most productive and uh, unexpected and unusually easiest that I can remember. So it was uh, really a pleasure last year when uh, she announced her uh, comeback to live performance. Many of you actually asked for a book and um, for some reason we've been sitting for over 30 years on these pictures. It seemed nobody was interested and certainly I, I didn't know who uh, had seen and enjoyed them through the years. So it was fantastic to have a chance to go back to the archives and uh, have a look not only at the classic images that were published all over the world, but also to the outtakes and uh, many pictures that didn't make it. So the idea for the limited edition book came around that time. My collaboration with Kate has been very personal. We did four shoots. When we worked together, she didn't want uh, anything that she had done in the past, that is uh, performance photos or uh, uh, very oblique concepts. She was influenced by the photography that I had done with uh, Lindsay Kemp, her mentor. I had done a book uh, in 1982, which she saw just after it was published and she flipped over it and uh, I think she wanted me to be a fly on the wall kind of photographer and uh, to capture something that was more authentic that was her real self. It was quite a long time ago that I had the pleasure of first meeting Guido. I just enjoyed so very much having my picture taken by the supreme artist that, that Guido is. We became friends, he was always there. He captured many of the productions, but not only me and my company on stage, but our lives off stage, and not just photos of our lives, but he captured the spirit. He captured so much my theatrical persona and, and the real me. And I shall always be grateful to him for that. Going back to the material, there's one part that uh, uh, to me is really incredible, which is the, the reportage that I shot on the set of The Line, The Cross and the Curve, uh, Kate's film, um, which was shot in 93. What happened, as you all know, is that she basically retired after the film and um, those pictures were forgotten. And I thought that, well, after 30 years, uh, these pictures should see the light of day and be enjoyed by everybody, myself included. Uh, I could shoot anything at any time. I don't recall much conversation during the shootings. It was all almost telepathic. The nice thing was that Lindsay Camp was on hand again. So for me, that film was uh, taking my history with Lindsay full circle. I mean, he inspired Kate to call me uh, as a photographer. And uh, in the end, he was there with her. Uh, this is what makes the, the prospect of the book really important to me. It, it really captures uh, a very important period and a very important collaboration in my life. I remember very clearly the day that uh, 
Kate arrived at the dance center in Covent Garden. The dance center was a place uh, where I was giving classes. They had all been there, you know, I mean, from David Bowie, um, uh, etc. And, um, and, and Kate arrived one day in, in a pink clear tides and her straggly hair. Terribly, uh, terribly timid and hiding at the, at the back somewhere. I encouraged her to come forward. But once we started dancing, she went, she went wild. She was extraordinary. Of course, I encouraged her to be crazy, which we had absolutely no problem with. And, uh, and I asked her to show me her, her spirit dancing. I wasn't interested, you know, I mean, I ask all my students of this, needless to say, I'm not interested in just seeing the arms and legs moving around, but the actual spirit, the soul, and, uh, and the, 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 not the actress, but the real, the real person, the heart and the soul of the, of the performer. And, and Kate, uh, she tweaked to that very, very quickly. She was great at, uh, at improvising, but she was very quiet. Later on, we became quite, quite good friends. And, um, and finally, we got to work together on uh, the line, the cross and the curve, which was a very interesting um, video based on the Hemstress and Anderson red shoes and inspired very much by the Powell and Pressburger film, The Red Shoes which needless to say is and always will be my favorite film of all time, a film I saw when I was nine years old. And of course, seeing that film made me decide that that's what I absolutely have to do. So it was great for me to, to, to be part of Kate's project. When we met again on the set, which was another great pleasure, I loved many of those shots that you did again, the candid shots. It's your candid shots that are the best. The shot where blah, I come up behind uh, uh, Kate, uh, who's uh, I, I think meditating with the hair and rollers in her in the makeup room. Um, but that just seemed like a few days after we'd been working together uh, on Duende uh, touring um, touring Italy. I'm going for a, a limited edition book because uh, in the past I've worked with publishers and had all sorts of limitations regarding size and number of pages, the quality of the printing, and this time I want to have an art object, not just a book. You can tell this from the size, for instance, uh, this is uh, how big it's going to be. Uh, this is a mock-up of the book, uh, probably this is the regular edition, the deluxe edition will have a different cover and uh, it, it will have some extras too, a set of Polaroids, replica Polaroids from the shoots. It will have a, a fine art print um, uh, which has a, an image that is not featured in the book and a, a slip case, a special slip case. Of course this is a very costly project and that's why we're organizing a crowdfunding. The crowdfunding also has a few rewards besides the book. Uh, it's got two limited edition posters and uh, a special print set of uh, never before seen images. It's also a way to make the project more personal to you because you'll be involved in the process and uh, of course your name will be acknowledged in the book itself. I've really appreciated your support so far since we launched the campaign and uh, I'm confident we'll hit the goal uh, quite soon. Anyway, I thank you very much for your support, uh, especially if you're going to share this video and our posts on Facebook and our newsletter. Uh, make everybody aware of this great project, which will be ready by March 2016.